Hi, I'm Kelly Fishbach, the Library Director at the Carroll Public Library in Carroll, Iowa. I'm also the Intellectual Freedom Chair of the Iowa Library Association. I'm here to just share a couple of ideas that we have for Banned Books Week. Now, I'm not the most clever person there is, so I do simple things like buy a shirt from the ALA website, or buy some bookmarks, or some buttons. And we also don't have a lot of room for displays in our library, so I purchased a couple of posters from the American Library Association's store also. Bring them out. If you haven't been on the website to see them yet, you can get one that matches my shirt. Or this one that I really like that says Forbidden on it. And the other thing that I think is real handy about these posters is that they don't actually have a date on them, so you can use them again next year. If you're like most libraries and you have kind of a limited budget, you can just cut off that date on the bottom and reuse it. You might want to have to go up to Northeast Iowa though because Decorah has some really exciting things planned. I'd like to share those with you. They actually had a local business person that thought it'd be important to to um, celebrate Banned Books Week, and so they've put together some programs. They're going to start on Sunday with an open stage at one of their sports restaurants and give a little theater presentation on the freedom to read and why it's important. Then on Tuesday and Saturday, they have an Art Haas um, art theater nonprofit group who works with different kids, and they are going to stage something called Upstart Crow Theater Works Banned Books Theater. I think that sounds like a lot of fun, and they're going to do it on the street and at the farmer's market on Saturday, so that's a neat different crowd they'll be getting in touch with. On Tuesday, Luther College, which is actually located in Decor also, is going to be doing some reading and explanation over the noon hour in their commons area to um, let high school or excuse me, college kids know about Banned Books Weeks. On Thursday, there will be something at the Decor Public Library where theater works and a high school librarian will be working together with a presentation. And all through the week they're going to have radio spots and do two different radio interviews. They've got the mayor signing a proclamation and area businesses have just agreed to put banned books displays in their windows. I think that's a really neat idea of how to get all different people within the community involved in Banned Books Week. Something else we've decided to do with the Iowa Library Association and our Intellectual Freedom Committee is that we're holding a contest that will be um, culminating at our conference, which is actually just a week after Banned Books Week, and we are going to give away a prize, popcorn bowl, microwave popcorn, some candy, some drinks, just a lot of fun to promote this idea. We're asking different librarians to share pictures or videos or um, things that they've written all to celebrate banned books. And so at the end of the week, we'll put all this together into a slideshow that we'll be able to show at our library conference. And we'll be able to give out the grand prize to somebody on Thursday at the lunch. And then we'll also have a link on our Iowa Library Association webpage so that people who weren't able to attend the conference can actually see the ideas that we gathered and maybe have some neat displays next year that they hadn't thought about in the past. So from going really simple like I did to buying things off the web page to getting the whole community involved and thinking about ideas for next year, I was being really active in Banned Books Week.